so let's understand other method uh, so here what is that method okay set length okay what is that method set length okay within this method we are having logic we are having a logic related to customizing the length up so here this method is having logic to mm, customize the length observe here currently if i call here length method what is the length four and now i want to make the length as two simple thing observe here if i call observe here if i call here s1 dot set length of two now only two blocks will be available with customized the data observe here meaning is these two blocks will be available with default data will be available with default data or else the length method cursor will be there okay leave it these two blocks will be having customized data remaining two blocks will not have any customized data okay they will not have any customized data okay they will not have any customized data now if you call here if you call here okay observe here one small thing observe here think that i have created string buffer s1 equals to new string buffer of a n i l now what happens here because of this hmm, statement there will be char array value okay now observe here now a n i l will be the data and what will be the capacity here 20 friends okay what will be the capacity here sop of s1 dot capacity answer is what 20 capacities what friends 20 now observe this one observe this one s1 dot set length of 2 now only these two blocks will be having customized data remaining blocks will be having hmm, will be having default data now if i call sop of s1 dot capacity uh, what is the value observe because of trim to size method you are going to deallocate uh, deallocate uh, deallocate the waste blocks from memory deallocating waste blocks here because of set length you are making customized uh, mm, that is blocks having customized uh, data to the default data customized data is replacing with default data that is null character getting null character now what is the capacity here still 20 only i am not at all deallocating i am not at all removing those blocks just i am replacing customized data with default data that's it we are doing here okay so set length is going to do what it will customize the length for our string object okay what it is going to do it's having logic to customize the customize the length for the string buffer object it is going to customize the length for length for the string buffer object okay so if i call s1 dot set length of 2 
what is going to do only for two blocks it will maintain customized data for remaining blocks it will maintain default data now after calling capacity method if you call what is the length now what happens it will you answer as two only it will give the data as two because length method will return what number of elements available within string buffer object how many elements one two elements that two available in two blocks okay and within the remaining blocks we are having default data try to differentiate trim to size method and set length method trim to size method will do what it will deallocate waste blocks from the memory okay waste blocks from the memory getting deallocating capacity is what 20 after and if i call length method for trim to size it will deallocate waste blocks now how many blocks were there uh, only four blocks and what is the capacity four okay you are having four blocks so capacity is what four only but this set length method what it will do it will maintain the past argument value blocks with customized data observe here if i pass here three only three blocks will be maintaining with customized data remaining uh, remaining blocks will be having default data getting if i pass here two only two blocks will be having hmm, customized data only two blocks will be having some customized data if you are having any customized data that will be maintained if you don't have customized data it will write its own customized data okay now the length will be as what here two and capacity it will be still 20 only now coming to other method this is simple method observe coming to other method that is ensure capacity method okay what is that method ensure capacity method okay observe friends public public wide ensure capacity method having argument as what int capacity simple thing observe here okay now observe what is the logic i will let you know thing that i have class a public static white main string buffer s1 equals to new string buffer anil okay now observe friends this one carefully observe this part carefully okay observe this part carefully okay now what happens here what will be the capacity uh, what will be the capacity 20 will be the capacity okay a n i l okay and now 0 to 19 now after some lines of code i want to insert the data such that it is going to occupy 100 blocks do i have 100 blocks here no i don't have 100 blocks i want to improve the size i i want to insert some hmm, triple nine blocks of data do i do i have that many number of blocks here no i don't have that many number of blocks so i want to improve its capacity increase its capacity so use ensure capacity as what thousand now thousand blocks will be allocating getting thousand blocks will be allocating to store your data if you call sop of s1 dot capacity you will get output as what thousand you will get output as what thousand that's it okay this is what ensure capacity method logic observe here to increase the capacity of string buffer object at runtime based on the requirement 
then you can go for this ensure capacity method here you can increase you cannot decrease that's very important you can only increase the capacity you cannot decrease the capacity by using this ensure capacity method observe here what is that this contain logic to uh, increase the increase the capacity of string buffer string buffer object at runtime based on requirement my requirement is what here hmm. at this statement i want to store thousand or triple line characters within each block that is in each block i want to store single single character so i want thousand such blocks to allocate space or memory for those triple line blocks what i have to do i have to allocate space first so to do that i have to do that by using ensure capacity method okay I can do that by using ensure capacity method. Now observe here, okay? Logic to increase the capacity of string buffer object at runtime based on the requirement. Based on the requirement. That's the logic here available within this ensure capacity method, okay? Within this ensure capacity method, okay? Um, so here it is simple friends you can write your own logic here for ensure capacity and also you can write your own logic for set length also you can write your own logic for trim to size also simple let simple methods okay now what we have discussed here trim to size method this method is having logic to deallocate waste to blocks that is blocks containing default data those blocks will be deallocating from the memory so i have created one string buffer object s1 with hmm, here capacity will be as what 4 plus 16 20 and after calling trim to size method it will allocate all default data blocks and the capacity will be as what here now four now coming to the other one now coming to the other one what is that set length i want to set length that is i want to make blocks with customized data i want to fill blocks with some customized data observe here you might be getting one small doubt what is that i will clear later okay observe here what is that observe think that i have one string buffer object and i'm having some customized data here as anil now i want to customize the length from 4 to 2 how to do that one it is that simple observe here i can use this set length method so here only two blocks will be having customized data remaining blocks will be having hmm, default data getting now if i call length method after this set length what will be the length two if i call capacity it will be still 20 why because i didn't call trim to size method trim to size method only having logic to deallocate waste that is uh, blocks which are having default values that is allocating blocks which are having default values okay only those blocks will be deallocating from memory okay now so that's why here i have called capacity and length methods i'll show you one small trick here we are having that trick later okay and ensure capacity method this method is having logic to increase you can only increase the capacity of the string buffer object by using ensure capacity you cannot decrease the capacity of your string buffer object okay so at runtime if i come to know I want to store much data in my string buffer object that time I can go for this ensure capacity method okay now at one point of 
line i come to know i want to show some triple line character so i should have triple line block so here i'm having just a 20 blocks how to increase the number of blocks so i have to depend upon ensure capacity method so i'm going to pass here thousand as an argument so i'm going to improve my capacity from 20 to 12,000 okay now if i check the capacity it will be as what thousand okay now let me compile and execute these three methods dead simple observe here okay dead simple observe here now let me take let me take the method let me take what is that method s1 dot hmm trim to size okay now first let me check the hmm capacity here what is the capacity here it will be definitely 20 right and if i check the length what will be the length here it will be hmm here it will be as 20 here it will be as what friends four now after that if i call capacity and length capacity and length what will be the capacity four and length will be as what four okay now observe here okay let it be let me remove this length okay observe here same piece of code friends okay i'm writing same piece of code okay now now let me compile this piece of code let me observe trim to size i didn't put semicolon okay now okay observe yes 244 is the answer okay after calling trim to size you're deallocating spaces from the memory so if i call once again capacity method it is going to give only four as the output okay now coming to the other one what is that hmm. what is that method what is that method friends set length okay now what is set length method will do hmm. it will do simple it will it will maintain the specified number of blocks with specified data okay now observe here what is the capacity here 20 now s1 dot set length of two only two blocks will be having customized data remaining blocks will have default data okay now if i call if i call once again capacity method 20 will be the output guys no change in it okay but if i call length method hmm, what will be the output here here it will be as what two and here before set length method it will give four so here 20 and what this answer two friends okay 20 4 20 uh, to observe here i'm calling before this set length method i'm checking what is the length of this string buffer object what is that 4 okay after making the length i'm customizing the length i'm customizing number of customized elements to 2 okay now observe 24 22 is the answer okay now let me compile this one okay 24 22 is the output now let's go for understanding other method now i have how many how many blocks here exactly 20 blocks now i want to improve that blocks number two number two thousand yes i can do that by using ensure capacity method okay now observe here now you you will get here as what output thousand observe here okay what should be the output twenty thousand is the output observe okay twenty thousand is the output now now observe here now observe here i have one small doubt this is the string buffer object having hmm, customized the data if i create a string buffer object s1 equals to new string buffer having uh, no blocks having no blocks zero blocks now if i call s1 dot set length of two okay observe here so i'm going to create the string buffer object uh, 
with no customized data observe here what happens here there will be one string buffer object s1 having char array hmm having no blocks zero number of uh, customized data but the observe there will be blocks but there won't be blocks with customized data okay observe we are having blocks how many blocks 16 blocks 0 to 15 okay 15 how many blocks 16 blocks but no block is having customized data okay now call sop of s1 dot length what will be the length how many number of customized elements are there my own elements zero did i pass any elements here no so zero now s1 dot set length of 6 or else 9 now what is the hmm, now sop of s1 dot length now what is the thing hmm, now what is the output output is 9 observe here logic to customize the length of our string buffer object observe here now now observe here it will fill the blocks with hmm customized data its own data will be written here for nine number of blocks or else it will simply it will simply make length method cursor to point at eighth index at eighth index okay very important if you call here length method it will return nine as the output to us it will return nine as output to us here it may fill with its customized or with its own data that is this set length method can fill these consecutive first nine blocks with some data otherwise it can increase the cursor to point what eighth index getting any one thing can get happen you can write your own logic also for this one here you will get output as what nine okay let me compile this one and check up so here what i have done here i have taken one string buffer object with hmm no customized data within blocks if i call length method it is what zero if i call set length now what is happening i passed nine as a argument what happens here this first nine blocks will be filled with its own customized data otherwise the length method this set length method cursor will be pointing to hmm value minus 1 index any one thing get get happen no issues okay now what will be the output here ah so 9 is the output if you want to check what it is filling here means if you have doubt simply put sop of s1 dot char at of 1 let us check what is there i hope null character nothing will be the output i hope let us check that one okay observe here so let me call s1 dot s1 dot what is that hmm system dot how dot print ln of hmm s1 dot length method answer is what zero now what is the other one s1 dot hmm s1 dot set length of 9 okay now system dot how dot print ln Length it is nine. I want to check what is there at first index. Char at of one. Let us check. I hope null character. Nothing should be the output. Okay, nothing. Otherwise, null character. Okay. Now, so let me compile this piece of code. Let me run this one. Yes, null character is the output here. Getting. Null character friends, this one. Don't get confused. Okay. So observe here. What it is doing here? Hmm. It is increasing the value of that is the cursor will be pointing to value minus one index. That's the logic. You can write your own logic 
also okay this is our what is that set length method okay i hope you understand all of these ones okay try to understand them in internal way so that you can write your own logic also okay thank you